Far Outdoors viewers. The winter months of the scenic grim are really beautiful out here, perfect for rock climbing. We've got a, an amazing crag up at Mount French National Park called by the climbers Frog Buttress. It's been home to climbers since the late 1960s and is a really lovely western facing crag, so perfect for winter climbing. It is a traditional climbing area so you can't put bolts in like the sport climbers might do, but it's hours and hours and days and days of fun and it attracts climbers actually from all over the world. It's one of the premier rock climbing sites in the country. So Merci beaucoup, Peter Surferu here on top of Mount French. Look at this view, it is going off, I tell you. Now, just down here we've got a little country town just outside of Boona, so much view. You can see the mountains in the background, amazing stuff. So much stuff to do here in Boona. So you've got to come up here. This is where they do all the trekking, hiking, biking. It is all going off. We'll go to our next location shortly. Peter Surferu, Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. So we sell the little climbing guide here, as well as rock climbing equipment, ropes, helmets, cams, nuts, all of that gear. So if you're wanting to restock your climbing kit or you just want to come in and have a chat about what we have or where to go, then please drop in. We'd be happy to see you all year round, although it seems to be only the English that climb in summer. Surferu, we've got a really big event happening here today. I've got Andy, the announcer, here with me. How you going, mate? Yeah, not too bad, Pete. Yourself? Really good. good now, we've got a big day of kart racing. Just tell us about what we're expecting to see here. It's all getting set up here. We've got all the hay going down. It's going off. No, absolutely. I mean, look, we've been doing this event here, the King of Burley Hill, for four years now, and we've come to expect a number of thrills and spills, and that uh, happens across the course of the afternoon, whereby we get a, uh, a class of primary school school age kids racing alongside a class of secondary school age kids and then and then an open class uh, to head down the hill side by side across uh, a couple of jumps and through some uh, hay bale chicanes to cross the finish line in in hopefully a fast enough time that will put them into a position to be able to compete for the the grand title the the king of burley hill 2019. Wow that's a good wrap up there we're getting a really good build up of crowd here looking down from the high rises as well we get up to some good speed out there for some of the competitors. Yeah, absolutely. It's amazing actually to think, you know, with the billy cart, we don't have an engine like a go kart, but the billy cart riders are they set up on a start gate which is elevated, and so the moment the billy cart gate drop, uh, the billy sorry, the start gate drops, the yep. billy carts fang down that uh, that takeoff ramp, and then they head down the, the the road, you know, at a rate of knots. And so we do see from time to time a couple of carts inverted, overturned, and, and the, that's where the thrills and spills come in. And while we don't like to see our competitors getting injured. The crowd obviously loves to see a couple of crashes here and there. Sounds good now, but we've got a couple of celebs from the radio station competing as well. Yeah, that's right. No, Bridge and, and Luke. Yeah. Um, we've got a head-to-head -head competition going on today between the morning crew, the brekkie crew, and the afternoon crew. And uh, some pretty elaborate uh, go-karts, or billy carts, I should say. We've got Bridge on what was once a wave ski, okay. uh, the famed goat boat. And then we've also got Lukey in, well... What we can only assume was a legally acquired shopping trolley. <laughs> okay, sounds good. We're going to have a big one here at Burley Hill. It is going off. Listen to the man. He'll be commentating all the way through this big, huge event. See you soon, guys. Peter Surferu. Woo! We're just setting up here. We've got a bit of problems with the, the cart. How are you there, mate? Yeah, good, thank you. Now, who's the racer? Come on over here, buddy. Introduce yourself. How old are you? Uh, ten. 10 years old and racing going to be in the big Formula 8 soon. Okay guys, what, got any problems with the car at the moment? Absolutely not. No. It's looking good. How long does it take to build this? Um, it's actually Brian Hickey, the builder, this gentleman over here. Brian, how long did it take to build? Brian, how long did it take you to build it? Oh, about, um, about six months, I suppose. A lot of work here at Belly Hill on the Gold Coast. This is the next one coming up before the grand final. Stay tuned, Peter Surferu. <laughs> The V 
picked up Tess, how are you going? Yeah, great, thanks. How's it feel out on the course? Oh, it is awesome, it is awesome. Those hail bales making it really good and rough out there. We've had a few good stacks here today. We have had a few good stacks, but luckily I'm not one. For the big grand final, any uh, tactics in there, any horrible stuff that we should know that you're going to do to the other competitor? Not get taken out by those wheels first, get in yeah. front, and then cut them off. Now, Come off, straight over the ramp, bang, got to get in front. That's it, that's what we're going to do. Now training for this, it's a whole year to, for this big event. How long have you been training for? I've had three runs down a cul-de-sac. Cool. <laughs> just Going to the gym, pumping iron, pumping swimming. Off. It is Iron Man material. Look at those biceps. Woo! Pete the surfer Roo here. Good luck, guys. You're up next. Grand final coming up soon. Yeah! <laughs> We're here with the Billy Car Challenge. Silly Billy Racing. Okay, mate, now the course is a bit of a steep one. We've got lots of uh, hail bales out there. It's going off. We've got a lot of stacks. How do you reckon you're going to do in this heat? Uh, well, I just had to go in the shop. I just did two front wheels. I went over to Bunnings, got another couple of wheels, and we're back on track for the second run. Sounds good, mate. Good luck out there. Cheers, All the best. Good this is now. the big one here at Burley Hill, here on the Gold Coast. Yeah, Ooh, it's super oh. Self-created, what do we call this contraption? Actually, I'm Victor today, uh, and this is Mike. Yep. Half mower, half bike. Here we go again. It looks like that might be my father in law there. I was a big part of the wind. He's going to get out of the way. We've got that position. Bargy there. It looks like he's got... Oh, Matty was definitely kicked to the hospital as we see... The end, the big celebrations to all of our King of the Mountain here at Burley on the Gold Coast. Keep it in the family, that's what we all do here in Australia, build our own things and of course come out with some champions like this. Guys, big round of applause to all of our winners. Woo!